The controversial public appearance of Health Minister Ruth Achenge in Lira among its crowds has raised the political storm. Parliament, a section of legislators, strongly condemned the act of the Health Minister calling for the whip to be cracked on her. She has to be disciplined for not to put on masks, but for misleading this country. So, Madam General Ruth Achenge owes us an apology, first as a country, to all Ugandans, in fact, to the whole world, because she's been the one communicating to the, to the World Health Organization directors and what. They are the ones who have been giving her those SOPs for us Ugandans to observe. So she must, she must apologize. They got excited and said they wanted to see Mama Corona. And they came in exactly at the time when I was demonstrating to them how to remove the mask. The irony, however, was that even the MPs hardly observed the desired COVID-19 regulations. That's why we are seeing me moving in public without a mask, meeting masses of people. I want to tell you, Mr. Museven, now it's high time you opened up the country, people go back to their normal life. A section of political analysts also cited the consequences of the acts of the minister. This one shows that the government is not speaking there or is not walking their talk. So government needs to walk on their talk. Because people now are going to see that if you are an NRM practitioner, you are free to go and even abuse the SOPs of means of health and do your campaign and nothing happened. But when you happen to do it, like how we saw on Sewanyana and, and Semju, you will be arrested and dragged and mistreated, mistreated in that way. According to the analysts, it will be difficult to observe regulations of campaigns without rallies, given the ecstatic nature of Ugandans. They cannot work in a country like Uganda, where citizens have been used to open rally, campaigns. Opposition politicians already having their gatherings dispersed by the security agencies, the analysts are far from convinced that they will be neutral during the non-rally campaigns. If you observe is that when say an opposition uh, tries to mobilize people and interact with them, to some extent they are harassed. The FDC recognizes the difficulties politicians will face in observing social distancing measures while looking for votes. The analysts believe it's only practical to extend the elections to afford time to politicians to exercise their right of open campaigns. Ali Mivole, NTV.